right. Well, it is 1215 and I certainly want to thank everybody from coming on. Again, this week, we're going to be serenaded by uh, Daniel Roumet, who is an educator and uh, teacher and uh, violinist, all often in a social justice context. So I want to again welcome you. Next week, we'll also be hopefully joined, we'll do a half and half with Dr. Hector Roscado, who wow. is one of our faculty. But I want to again welcome Daniel, and we're looking forward to your concert series for this afternoon. Well, it's so great to be back here with you. We are alive, taking care of our loved ones and hopefully being taken care of too. I just want to play for you. That's just love. I hope you're well. I hope you're doing all right. I want to see who's with us today. We've got William. We've got Mary. We've got Katie. We've got Judy. We've got Dr. Olivier. We've got Nora, Charlene, Danielle. Welcome. It's so good to see you. I'm glad you're here. I'm playing for you. This is for you. All of your service and all of your studies, right? <laughs>
me tell you what's on my mind right now. And maybe we're thinking the same thing. Maybe not. I have this image of a man jogging. He's running down a road, taking care of his black body. I do this all the time. Not as much as I should. But it's the rhythm of it, you know. Running. Oh. Just trying to take care of yourself. Now imagine this man is running down the road. Jogging. Trying to take care of his black body. thinking about his family, his mother, his wife, the children that are coming. Maybe he's daydreaming and he's running among beautiful homes. He's not really running away from anything, he's just running. He's breathing. with you, you know, there's, there's so much going on in the world, and Armand, Armand, we think of you, may God find peace with you and your soul and your family, and we move on and we live, we don't forget, but we're here together, we live, we live, we live. <laughs> Thank you. 
That's for you. That's for you. So how are you feeling today? How is everybody feeling? You can say something in the chat room. You can unmute and let me know. But how are you feeling today? What's on your mind? Right? Talk to me. Talk to me. How are you feeling today? What is on your mind? Right? Is everything as is she feeling good? Feeling good. Oh, okay. I'm feeling good. We've got a person. I'm glad you're feeling good. Feeling good, huh? Because everything you say is musical, grateful. Oh, let's see what we got here. Feeling good, feeling grateful. Yes. Enjoying after listening to you play. Well, that's a score. Let's see. Feeling good. Let's see what we got. Um, yeah, uh, we got a feeling good. Mm. A feeling good. Sun shining. The sun shining, enjoying the sun shining.
time we're nearing the end of our time happier after listening to you play yes sunshine yes to the sunshine yes to the sunshine this one last one's for you uh, some of you have contacted me on Facebook and on Instagram and everyone talked about amazing grace and they wanted to hear it again so why don't we take this time for me to thank you for being here you're not alone we're in this together Thank God for your studies. You've entered this space in grace. You're such a pleasure to be here with you. Danielle, Lynn, Lisa, uh, Dr. Olivier, Nora, Charlene, Katie, Mary, William, Archana, I hope I said that correctly, 81477, and Christina. Give a hand to Christina. Give a hand to Dr. Olivier. Yes, we've got to cover our faces, but the eyes are the entry into the soul. We're going to survive. We're going to struggle. Not all of us are going to make it, but we're going to live on for those that do. I'm here for you. I'm here for you. As my good Haitian mother would often tell me, we all suffer. Not all of us will survive, but thank you for helping us survive. I wish you peace. I wish you blessings. I wish you happiness. Know you're not alone and know that your studies are in service to the universe. Every breath is important. Amen. Hallelujah.
Thank you very much. Thank you so much, Daniel. Thank you. Thank you and take good care. Till next week. Stay healthy. Till next week. Stay healthy, yes. Beautiful, stay healthy. Thanks. I see all your comments coming in. I see all your comments. Yes, thank you. Thank you so much. It's a pleasure to serve you. Sunshine, we're together. We're in this space. And we're going to get through this. And thank you. Thank you so yes, much. Yes, I want to thank you doing. again, Danielle, for this wonderful time to give us some relaxation and wellness. And uh, like I said, next week, we'll be also having one of our faculty, Hector Roscado Lopez, doing the piano. And we'll kind of split it up with you guys. I think it'll be great. Um, it would have been nice for both of you to be able to do something together, but I think we we get everything out of uh, what you do. Maybe for the last couple of minutes, you might just wanna, for those who might not have been there last week, um, just tell them a little bit about you. Oh, and, absolutely, uh, yes, yes. Uh, so my why name is- your music, why you do this yes. music in the way that you did, that you sort of started with that gentleman that was recently killed. Oh, um, yes, Ahmad. How you have justice in your music. Yes, so I'm a composer, a violinist, social entrepreneur. I also teach at Arizona State University, proudly. And um, I've been playing the violin for 45 years and composing for about 40 years. And um, I, um, I, my creative practice has to do with modern composition, electric violin playing, and oftentimes upon themes of social justice. So it's a little unusual in that I'm playing and singing and talking and doing all these different things. It's all original. Um, I work with orchestras and string quartets, but I'm always trying, always wanting to, and in my own way, collaborating with the people, collaborating with the stories and the issues that are pressing. And if it's on my mind, it might be on your mind. If it's in my heart, it might be in your heart. What, you know, the things that divide us are easy. What are the things that we can share in common? So this is a narrative practice. This is a way of um, looking at the hot topics of the day and sometimes the things that are most um, potent and painful and trying to come to grips with them in an artful way, in a way that is, um, leads to, I hope, conversation as opposed to conflict. Right? And particularly as a proud black, I identify as a black Haitian American composer, having been born in Skokie. Um, I'm doing these things because I feel that there is, particularly in my field, which is classical music, um, I feel that it's incredibly important that these stories are told in real time. Right? So um, beyond um, controversy, I think there's just fact. And whether it's, um, I, I mean, whether it's Matthew Bird or James Shepard, or the Matthew Bird, James Shepard hate crimes act that Obama put into practice. You know, it's very important, I think, as artists, and I've always said this, politi when, our, when our politicians and pundits fail us, artists have always led the way, right? So the story that I was telling was of a young man in Georgia, I think he was 25 years old, literally just jogging down the road, was accosted by two men with shotguns. And um, as is a trope in our American culture, um, he was murdered. Um, there's no other way to say it. There's no way to be pleasant about that. Um, another way for me to talk about it is to talk about it and to play it. And that might make it a little more um, compelling and understood. Because I think as artists particularly, and you can understand this as health professionals, right? You have to find ways to manage your emotions, right? I think you call that your uh, bedside manner, right? And I mean, is that an outdated term? So forgive me. But um, you know, we, we, we call it a performance practice, right? So that means you go out onto a stage and you're supposed to play the violin a certain way, right? Those are traditions. And what I like to say is that tradition is really nothing but an old innovation waiting patiently to be made new again. So by that I mean, what, how can the violin be played? What are the possibilities? And as you can, well, you can't see everything. I have pedals and computers and everything all around me. But what you're getting is this sense of, oh, the violin can sound like a percussion instrument, like a violin, like something like from outer space, even. And the violin can help tell the story. And to, to help tell a story that if you're not aware of, you become aware of it. And if you're not feeling, or you don't even know how to grapple with those feelings, I'm going to maybe make it a little more manageable. Right? But in all of that, we're going to be honest. 
I know that the, the, the healthcare practitioners that I remember the most are the ones that were honest with me and my own health. They were honest with me in terms of my mother's health. She's a, a breast cancer survivor, as uh, Dr. Olivier will, 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 will tell you. And um, uh, the healthcare pro professionals I remember the most are the ones that, even in the worst time, the worst time, were able to tell me something that could make me feel a little bit better. Right? So, and I know you know this, right? Part of your job, I think, is this notion of you are sometimes the bearer of the worst news, especially now, right? And you have got to find ways to not only manage your, the, the health and wellness and the emotions of your patients, but of yourself, right? So I applaud you in that. In that, we're in a similar business. I'm, nobody's going to die if I play a wrong note. I want to be really clear about that. Nobody's going to feel worse if I miss something. Right, if I don't perform. In your job, that's exactly what happens. And so I think that it's really important that as artists, when I say that, your artistry has um, real life and death consequences. My artistry speaks to those life and death consequences. And um, that was a really big answer. Well, thank you for bringing <laughs> but, yeah. sunshine. Thank you for bringing some yes. sunshine and uh, uh, stories uh, to our today, this afternoon. And we look forward to your last performance with us next week. Thank, thank you, you once Dr. again. Olivia, and I'll see you next week. Have a great day. Thank you, Christina. Thank you. All right. Bye-bye.